everyone, you're with Lucy from Archard Angel and Lucy's Craft Cafe and I would like to show you today how to use waterproof drawing ink and some watercolours to create a really great picture. I'll also be having a download that you can download this teddy bear and give it a go. If you like it, please subscribe to my page and also join me on live art journaling and self-development. The link is below. So let's get started. This is going to be lots of fun. The first thing I'm going to do is draw my teddy bear, but you don't have to draw a teddy bear if you don't want to. You can actually use the download. There's going to be a link below for you to go to my page to download a teddy bear. And it is free. So I'm drawing my teddy bear with pencil first. And then I'm going to draw it in with a fine liner. So this is just a black permanent fine liner and I'm going to draw it in. So just watch as I draw in the picture. Now I have my picture drawn, I'm going to get dried off, make sure it's really, really dry, and then I'm going to use my ink. Now the ink that I'm using must be a waterproof draw, drawing ink, and you can see that I have a piece of paper to make sure that I can put heaps of water in there to make sure you get it nice and light. You don't want it to be too dark. And the process here is that you are going to shade this complete teddy bear in grey. We're not putting any colour on until this is all done and this is a technique that I learnt in Bali which is where they use the shading underneath to give you um, an effect that's quite different to having to shade it with watercolours straight from the start. So we're getting, you can see I'm building up colour and I'm giving this little teddy bear shape and the background shape. And this is choosing a, a light source. So I've cho chosen a light source from the top left. And you can see I'm sort of shading everything to the right hand side. I do, um, I will be doing online classes on colouring and shading and that. So um, Lucy's Craft Cafe will have some great classes coming up soon. So if you'd like to do more of that or learn more of that, please make sure you go to my Art Shed Angel page so you'll be notified. So here you can see he's taking on a black and white photo look and that's what we want to create, shadows. Make sure you dry him off now. So this is permanent ink and we're going to make sure it's dry. Now this is where the magic happens. We start to use water, watercolour inks or watercolour um, paints. You can use inks. You can use Tombow felt pens even over the top of this. And you can see I'm just using one colour, but I'm getting all that beautiful shadow happening. And that's what's really special about this technique, that even here with the blue, I'm getting that shadow happening from the grey behind. Now, it may seem to you like a lot of work doing it as a two-step process, but it truly is worth the effort when you see how nicely this works. So I'm just going to keep colouring, so please watch. Hope you give this a go because it's lots and lots of fun. Thanks again for joining me in my studio. You're with Lucy from Archet Angel and Lucy's Craft Cafe. Thanks so much. Bye.